How's it going? Little green one here. Going to talk about my uh, a a net A8 3D printer. Going to talk about the upgrades I've done and uh, what my thoughts are on about it. Plug it up here. So, starting with the very first obvious upgrade is my little enclosure that I've built. Uh, I made it out of foam board, uh, dollar a piece foam board, and saran wrap windows. And made it with a nice little 3D printed half clasp thing, a little latch to keep the doors together. So, it opens up like that. You get your 3D printer in here. So, the reason I made this was because uh, I'm printing with um, ABS, ABS plastic. Um, so I've got the four, the four color, I got black, white, blue, and gray. They used up a good bit of the gray. But, um, so this was, this was, uh, they say that, you know, it's, it's good to put your printer in an enclosure. It'll increase your print quality and everything because ABS, you know, has a, a shrinkage issue and all that stuff. So you want to seal off any drafts and and kind of increase the temperature all around the the ambient temperature around the printer so i whipped that up really quick and uh got that going um that was upgrade one and one, upgrade number two maybe like say the spool adapters which makes it just flow really easy I and mean, it's just on it's just on the threaded rod so i mean it's, it flows decently well i mean it takes hardly any pressure to get it to spin so it's been working fine. I've printed a good bit of little stuff here to try it out, and it's working fine. Um, you can kind of see upgrade number three. You got the LED strip lights going. Um, just purchased a little eight dollar roll off of Amazon and got it going right into the uh, right into the power supply, which runs off 12 volt. I mean, outputs 12 volts, so the LEDs went straight into it. Um, <laughs> I've got the very, very necessary uh, Z-axis um, fine adjustment. Um, the little foot that goes and hits the uh, Z-axis uh, switch, you know. So that's super necessary. Um, the other one with the plate and the two screws is just there's no accuracy on that at all. I mean, let's see here. Upgrade number three got the. Uh, I think this is the Y, right? The Y axis uh, belt tensioner. Got that going. Um, the belt's pretty, pretty tight. And uh, I had to kind of, I had to kind of jerry rig mine a little bit because I had trimmed off some of the belt when I first rigged it up, and then rigging it back, you know, with with the belt tensioner, it said, "Oh, you're going to need about 10, 10 millimeters or something of of extra belt." Mine wasn't even stretched, so I had to kind of reconnect mine with some needle and thread and zip ties and get it to give me that excess uh, extra little length so I could use this belt tensioner because it was just sticking out way too far. So, but it's working great and it's holding great. So, um, thinking about doing the upgrade of the X uh, belt tensioner, I haven't done that yet. I'm thinking about doing that one, but. It's, it's still pretty tight. I don't really know how tight these things have to be to do to increase your accuracy or anything like that, but I mean, it's been doing some good prints. Um, I just print, I just print on a wide masking tape, um, just plain masking tape. What I'll do with the ABS here, <clears throat> got your 100% acetone in there, throw in some some ABS parts that you know are duds and uh, just let it dissolve it you know, get a good ratio where you're not you can you can tell the ratio of how good is is good when you're um, you let it settle for a while and if you don't see like a layer of clear clear acetone at the top then you know then you've got a good if you, if you get that layer of clear acetone you need some more ABS in there and uh, and then so you get like a nice kind of milky coating and uh, so you take that, your dollar, dollar store, dollar store, you know, one dollar turkey baster injector, uh, turkey injector, and you just kind of 
when it's nice and warm, you just kind of squirt some around, take yourself a little card and just kind of wipe it around, get a little layer of uh, ABS on there. If you need to, take a little piece of sandpaper, kind of sand the bubbles down, and then uh, let it print. Um, these here were actually just uh, rafts that were some kind of small parts that I was having to print. And uh, so I tried the raft out and it worked really well, but uh, it's still stuck. This was a that was way too thick of a raft, and then this was a much smaller raft, so that's, that's the way to go. But it's been printing great, and it's uh, one of my big my big prints that I've done. The first prints, really big, was the Kylo Ren saber, and uh, it's pretty cool. It did pretty well, I think, on the quality. I mean, it's that was I think 0.2 layer height and uh, something like 35 meters millimeters per second or whatever um, speed but it did it did all right and you gotta look at the uh, inside where it just you know suddenly appears a uh, something there I tried <clears throat> I first tried trying printing it at a 50% scale just to try and make a small one because this, this one here took about six or seven hours. The other one, the big one, took like 20 hours. So I was like, I'm going to waste a lot of time and try and print something a little bit big and just try and see how it does. It did okay. It's a little, a little bubbly in some places. But this, uh, the left ejector or the left emitter uh, came unstuck from the bed, so it was a dud. So, uh, But it all pieces together and glues together. It's like three pieces, so four or five, six pieces. And... Uh, Ah, let's see, one last thing here, the upgrade I've done is the little filament, little filament holder. Uh, it's a good little thing. I had to use some uh, double-sided tape to kind of get it to stick in place so it doesn't move around anymore, but um, I think so far it's been pretty decent. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this one, you know, the only thing that kind of keeps coming undone is this little uh, rod retention piece here. The nut keeps coming loose and off of that, so I need to put a little Loctite on that or something to keep it from falling off. And for some reason, this rod was too that rod was too high. Same as on this side, they're too high. I don't know, or they're too long. So I don't know what's up. Other than that, everything's pretty good, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. And the uh, ABS is pretty cool. You know, I haven't really done with any of the acetone, <clears throat> the acetone smoothing thing that you can do with it, but. That's one of the reasons I kind of wanted to print with it, is in case I ever wanted to do that, I could do it, so. Uh, I think that's about it. That's about all the upgrades I've done, and uh, I need to work on the wiring. It's a bit messy, but it's functional. You know, I haven't done the chain thing. I don't know why they do the chain, but it, I don't think it'll really help my printer much. I mean, this just moves back and forth, and that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll check it out, but it seems like a lot of printing, a lot of plastic waste, just to do some sort of cable management but you know it seems to be popular it seems to be effective there's a reason people are doing it but um so far so good thanks for watching um i had to also mention one thing here my tripod uh quick release it was on the camera just now the quick release for the, the tripod i printed that i can't find it i couldn't find the one that came with the tripod and i just used it 1420 or, or uh, 1020 screw 10 I, I can't remember what kind of screw it is quarter 20 screw and uh, just use that with it and then it works it's awesome you know you, you need something in your life and you just download it print it and then you, you've got it you know you have to worry about where the original thing is so anyways that's it i'll post some more videos later on some uh, more a net a8 printing and Maybe get some footage of the thing printing and everything like that. It'd be pretty cool. So thanks for watching. Little green one. Talk to you later.